for joining us. I'm really glad you did because today we're going to be creating these fun scribble monsters. The first thing you might like to get to do this is a large drawing pad. And I'm using the A2 Montmartre drawing pad and I love this because the paper's so thick. I'll also be using some Montmartre t-shirt markers. They work great on t-shirts but they work equally as good on paper as well. So let's get scribbling and let's get into it. Now everybody's scribble is going to be different of course and I will say too that if you want some ideas for drawing monsters have a look at the PDF lesson as I've drawn some to give you a hand and you can find that at www.montmart.net just go to Montmart TV and choose this lesson this first little curved shape loop I'm going to change into Professor Jellybean so I draw in a couple of spindly arms with some horrid spidery fingers emitting from them a few sharp teeth a couple of horns and some vacant eyes. Now let's draw in his lab coat. And a pocket, a few buttons, and that's evil Professor Jellybean. Ooh, ooh, oh, 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 oh. This next shape makes me think of a tadpole. So I decide to draw a tadpole monster. And give him a big wide honker, some beady little eyes, a few nasty teeth, and some fins like this. I make them smaller as I go down. As I look at this shape, I see a tongue. So I draw that in. I draw in a flat sort of nose with big nostrils, a bit of a brow and some poppy bulging eyes. He's looking adequately monsterish. I add some rings around his eyes to make him look even more monster-like. I lay in some shadow to add depth, give him some eyebrows, pop a wart on his nose and then move on to my next shape. First I draw in some big poppy eyes, and then I draw in some eyelids and a couple of eyeballs. This is going to be a fish monster. I draw in a couple of flary nostrils and some luby lips with some teeth. If you download that PDF I was talking about before, you will see there is different monsters to suit every scribble. The main idea behind this is really to use your own imagination though. This type of exercise is good for adults as well to loosen up prior to creating more traditional types of artwork. I'm drawing in some overlapping scales here. This type of patterning really creates interest. The last scribble monster I like to think of as an Igor-like character. I draw a heavy set brow, a wide nose, little beady eyes, a high collar, and some pointy elfish ears. Time now to colour in our scribble monsters. Now for this we could use paint, markers or crayons. But I'm going to use colour pencils and I'm going to use the kids colour clickers. Now if you haven't seen these before they are fantastic. These are very different from normal colour pencils. They are actually a clutch type of pencil. They come with 12 replacement colour strips contained neatly in this clear box. And you even get a sharpener provided for those situations when precise colour application is required. And it all fits neatly into this robust case. So let's start with this guy up here. So I take out the red and I lightly colour in Evil Professor Jellybean. The trick here is to shade him darker around the edges. This just adds more interest than a flat colour. I then colour in his horns green. Green and red look good together. They are called companion colours. Then I colour in Tadpole Monster Blue. I follow the same shading technique of creating the edges darker, but I use the dark blue for this. I lay in a drop shadow over the fins and create a bit of a 3D look. And then lay a light green over the top to give a turquoise tint. While I have my green, I colour in Mr Bulgy Eyes. I lightly hold the pencil and try to keep the coat consistent. I lay the green in darker on those shadow areas and lay some yellow over the top. I then paint his tongue all pink, then lay purple over the top of that. 
Overlaying colours creates interesting tones. Lastly, some bloodshot eyes in red. Now on to Fish Monster. I want him to be a rich goldy orange colour. So I lay down some yellow first. When you blend colour pencil, it's important not to lay the base on too thick. Then I lay some orange over that yellow. There, that colour looks great. Now I move on to Igor and colour his splendid coat in purple colour. I lay in red over that to get a rich tone and then colour Igor's head in yellow, then pink and then orange. This gives a good skin colour. Well, I hope you try this because it's really fun. And if there ever was an art project to keep the kids entertained for hours, then this would be it. And if you do like to make art and you're not there now, then come over to our webpage at www.montmart.net. Go to Montmart TV and you'll find lots more fun lessons there. And while you're there, you might like to have a look at our blog or maybe join our Facebook or join our family. And what I mean by that is join our family feed. And if you subscribe to that, well, you'll get a fun family project sent to you each week. So thanks again for watching and remember to keep on painting. See you next time!